After years of legal action surrounding forever chemical contamination in drinking water from Fayetteville to Wilmington, researchers at UNC Chapel Hill have discovered 11 additional types of the chemicals in the Cape Fear River. WRO climate change reporter Liz McLaughlin shows us what scientists found and what it means. There are more than 10,000 types of these forever chemicals, also known as PFAS. A research team in this UNC lab utilized a new testing process with this equipment to discover PFAS compounds that the EPA didn't even know existed, revealing a new layer to North Carolina's contamination crisis. We had 11 new masses that we'd never seen before. Detective work and a unique process allowed Professor Erin Baker and her team to verify 11 types of PFAS in the Cape Fear eight of those discovered for the first time. Sometimes industries make chemicals and they don't have to report them. The source of the chemicals is unclear, but the majority of the samples were taken near the Camores Fayetteville Works plant, where other PFAS chemicals found in the river were manufactured. It's really important, especially if we see changes in the health of different communities, because then we might need to know what chemicals they're being exposed to. Raising questions for residents who rely on the Cape Fear as their drinking water supply. Is it harmful to our health, to our family, to our community, to our environment? Harper Peterson is a father of five and former mayor of Wilmington, who thinks chemical contamination could have played a role in his wife's health issues and cancer cases in his community. And this human tragedy is every, every, everywhere. Uh, I cannot d begin to share with you some of the heartbreaking stories. Advocates like Emily Donovan say there should be more regulations for PFAS chemicals. Sure, if they're making money off of this chemistry, then they should know exactly what they're making, what they're unintentionally releasing, what they are intentionally releasing. The EPA's working list of PFAS already had more than 14,000 substances and now a handful more. But that may just be the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of chemicals we probably don't know about that are in our environment. Researchers here say they're now in the process of collaborating with agencies and other universities to uncover the properties and potential health impacts of these newly discovered compounds. In Chapel Hill, I'm Liz McLaughlin, WREL News. We reached out to Camores, but they didn't respond to our questions about whether the substances found in the study were used or manufactured at their facility. You can learn more about Forever Chemicals by watching the original WREL documentary streaming on our website under the documentary tab.